Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNNHero.com. In this video, we'll be going through DNN 6 beta version. So, if you are curious about uh, having a look, having a peek of how, what they're doing with, uh, what DNN is doing with uh, DNN uh, version 6. So, that's the idea of this video. You're just gonna have a quick look. Uh, to be honest, I have not, I have logged in before, so I wanted to have a look and see what I should expect, uh, before I get started. So, I, I mean, some of the things that I'll be showing will not be brand new to me, but most of them will. So, um, here's my test site, which is installed locally, and this is, uh, DNN6, better version. Let's try to log in here. So, uh, right, right from the start, you can see that they are, DNN is upgrading the look and feel of, of the platform. You're gonna see a lot of, a lot of, uh, jQuery type of windows like that, a lot with this light box type of style. And again, you can see already a more modern type of look to the platform. So let's log in here to the back end and let's explore a little bit. So, the other thing that we can see uh, right right when we log in is the control panel at the top is right now very, very simple, very short, very discreet, I would say. And if you scroll the page down, you see that it, it, it stays there. And if you need to gain access to those menus, to those options, you just move your mouse over, let's say over admin, and then this, this pop-up, uh, window shows up and you have access to the, in this case, to the admin features. Now, let's, let's go there to the admin again and have a look, for instance, to the site settings. Now, when we come to the site settings, you're also gonna be able to see that the style of the, of the settings area of the administration side of modules and and the default modules of, of DNN, the admin modules of DNN, they they change the style quite quite significantly. As you as you can see here, the different major sections are now divided into tabs. So we have basic settings, advanced settings, style sheet editor. So again now instead of being uh, just in the same in the same view in the same uh, page, they are now, well, they are still in the same page, but within different tabs. So again, modern look, as you can see, when you click from one to the next one, it has this fade in, fade out type of, uh, type of effect, as you can see. Also, you're gonna, you're gonna see that, uh, the, the little help icon, which used to be, to be honest, quite ugly that a little, a uh, rounded circle. Actually, let's open let's open DNN five here. So let me just flip to Internet Explorer. So what use we use to see as this little help uh, question mark type of icon? They have been replaced by this nice looking eye type of icon here. So again, one more I guess that one more slight change or more slight improvement in the UI aspects of of the platform. Now. You have the major areas at the top within different tabs and the sub areas, the subsections within those major areas, they are now, uh, with this again, new style, new look. If you click, let's say under site marketing, you click there, it gets expanded. And again, one more improvement to the look and feel of the platform. Buttons as well. You're going to see that they have again another high they have really upgraded the, the look, the look and feel of the, of the options of the buttons of the links in, within the admin screens. As you can see how it was before, just a simple icon with a little, the simple link with a little icon there. Now again, a more up to date type of look here. Now, keeping the idea of exploring in mind, exploration in mind, let's have a look at the other, the other links at the top. So we have menu. Under menu here, as far as I can, I could see, they are pretty much the same as the, as the original one as, as the, as version five. I have not seen anything, uh, brand new here. Now, if we go to the, if we move on to the host, now 
Not sure if they're going to keep professional features here. I guess that they might, but it's, I would say that this is just a, a teaser for, to entice people to have a, a better, have a look at the version, the professional edition. Because if you try to open any one of those, let's say health monitoring, you just get this kind of preview information here. So you don't get the actual feature. You just have, you just get a preview of, uh, the features available in the professional enterprise versions. Um, if you look at the host again, the other f one new one new item that shows up here that that caught my attention was the HTML Edge Drone Manager. Now, with that feature, they made it possible without messing around with uh, with the web config to be able to flip from Write editor to another editor provider that you may have installed in the site. I don't think that you can, you can actually install it from here. You have to install it outside the admin, uh, uh admin interface of DNN. You have to install it directly via the file system. But I'm assuming that once it's there, let's say that you were, uh, you have added, um, Qt editor as well or FCK editor. So they would be available here in this drop down where you would be able to change the edge, to change the Azure provider here. Now, DNN 6 comes with, uh, as well as DNN 5, comes with Write Editor pre-installed. If you click on the under configurations, now you're going to be able to see a bunch of options, settings that you can, that you can configure your, your HTML editor. And again, really really a bunch of options as you can see here just by clicking on on default configuration i have we have those two main areas editor configuration toolbar configuration wh where you can you can change the the features the available in the toolbar of the editor and another editor configuration if i just scroll down a little bit you're going to see how many options we have here. I mean, we have a lot of options. Actually, we have, I have a, a good source of future, future tutorials talking about those options here. So just scroll a little bit down and you can see toolbar settings, image manager. Let's just click through a couple of them. Again, I'm not going to dig into those. I'm just, well, I just want to highlight that those, the, this vast amount of settings are now available right from the, from the admin interface of .tattook, all related to the the rad editor in this case, which is the one that uh, the the editor provider that we are talking about right now. Even even dimensions, height, width, they are all available here. Again, I'm not gonna explore each one of those, but brand new brand new feature available in DNN6. Let's have a look. Let's go back here to the homepage. And again, this is the default installation. The other thing that I have noticed, which is a UI improvement, if you move the mouse over any 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 module area, you're gonna see that the 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 module gets highlighted. As you can see, a a, a darker a, kind of a shadow around the the area, as you can see up here, all around. And now you no longer have the little uh, how's it called action menu, which we use to have before in DNN5, for instance, if I go here to the homepage of DNN5, if you move the mouse over the the action menu, then the menu would come up. In this case here, DNN6, we just move the mouse over, then you can see this little manage uh, option that shows up here in the top left corner. If you move the mouse over manage, then you can see the entire set of options that you have around that module, like editing content because this is a, an HTML content. Uh, you can see the different versions of this of this um, under under my work. Actually, let me have a look under my work. Okay, let's leave it out for now. Okay, let, let me go there again. So manage, then you have the admin where we can find export, import, settings, and then you can, we also have an area here that allows you to move the module to another to another pane or move it up, move it down uh, within the same pane. Now, let's give just a, a try here. Let's go to settings. 
This is the end of video 1 on taking a quick peek at DNN6 beta version.